So, at the hair store, I found some really good dupes of, well, I don't know if they're really good yet, but I found some really similar looking liquid lipsticks to the Kylie Lip Kit liquid lipsticks. So I just thought, you know, I picked them up and try them out. I swatched them and the swatches have been on pretty well. I just did an entire haul video featuring these. So if you want to watch that, just go ahead and check it out now. Yeah, if you want to see that, just keep on watching. I wish I got six, you know, just to make it an even number. So I'm just going to start off with this red one. I'm very excited for this because I do need a new red lipstick, so that's why I picked that up. First off, the brand is Ruby Kisses. This is their Forever Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick. This is the color Vivid. No, this is the color Wildfire. Okay, so let me just take off my lipstick. So this is also kind of like a first impression because I never tried this before. So we'll just see how it goes on and how it dries. See, I love that like with one swipe it's pretty full coverage. Also this smells really good. It smells like a lip gloss. It smells kind of like cherry like. As you see with like those like one swipe it like so it's like so full coverage. I saw that even with the swatches I was like ooh this is pretty nice. I did my whole lip and I didn't even have to double dip so as we can see from just that alone the coverage is fantastic like super duper great and it smells nice oh my god this is such a pretty color ooh someone has a new favorite let me talk So this is how it looks online. It smells so good. It smells just like cherry. This is so pretty. This color is so pretty. I would never ever wear it like this, but I don't think it looks bad on camera. But I personally would wear it like this. Like most liquid lipsticks that I bought from the beauty supply store, I'd say let it dry before you smack your lips together because it kind of like rubs it off. But unlike most of the drugstore brand liquid lipsticks, it doesn't like get patchy like as you swipe it because I have some like if I swipe it once the color will go on but if I swipe it twice before it dries the color is going to come off my lip but as I've seen since I put it on like right here kind of rubs off like if you lift your lips like like that kind of rubs off like right here that's a problem I have with most lipsticks though I mean not usually this fast but that's like the only problem I see with it right now at this moment. Um, what else can you say? It's also really, really, really lightweight. It feels like, it feels kind of like chalky on my lips. I don't, but I don't mean that in a bad way. It just feels like, it feels soft and powdery. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Like, it feels nice. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, I personally like the way it feels on my lips. So I'm just going to line that and show you guys how that looks lined. I really like this color though. It's so pretty. So that's how that looks lined. This is how I would wear it on a regular day, on any day, which is so pretty. So yeah, this is how it looks lined. I wish I could like neaten it by like powdering around my mouth, but I'm not even going to do all that because that's too much for my face to even handle every single time I take one off and put it back on so put another one on so this is how it looks I really like this this is really pretty the only thing that I'm wondering how long it lasts on but these swatches last on really well so hmm no maybe it won't last through a meal but if you don't if you're just drinking some water or eating some french fries, something simple, nothing like chowing down on milk. <laughs> so now I'm going to try the other ones. This one was like an overall review and the other ones are just going to be like me showing you the color and like, you know. And this is pretty true to color, like how it shows up on camera is pretty much like exactly how it looks in real life. So for this color anyway, so yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the next pop of color one, which is this like purple shade. It's not as dark of a purple as I would go for, but it was the only purple one they had, and I wanted to try out a purple. 
So this is the, this is called Orchid Heart. I was kind of hoping that like the color, I mean the smell would change with the color. But let me not ask for too much, right? This one seems to move around a little bit more when applying it. I don't know, maybe it's because I put Vaseline on before I applied this one, maybe. Um, I'm going to try the rest out doing that and see if it does like the red one or does like this one. So we'll just see because it might just be because I put on Vaseline before. So mm -hmm. This one is definitely way more patchy, but like we'll see. We'll let it dry. I feel like... From where I'm sitting and can see can see the camera, it looks way more blue on camera than it actually is. It's actually like a purple purple, like purple purple, but it looks kind of bluish on camera. I don't know why. But this one is obviously way more like patchy and moves around a little bit more. Because like I just put my lips together and it kind of just came off. Like barely put my lips together and it came off. Okay, so I think that should be dry right now. It looks cool, like this. Looks pretty cool. I kind of like this without the lip liner, but I am gonna line it to show you anyway. So here it is, just how it looks lined. I would most definitely more line this with a dark purple pencil than a brown, but I don't think it looks bad. I like this color. I'll probably wear this with like my hair down and back and just like something neutral because it's just like so pop pop of you know so yeah that's what that looks like i don't think it looks bad at all this one looks nice i like this one a lot okay so i'm gonna do the next shade which is also like a deeper pinky kind of purple this i think i swatched this one and it remind me of the color tool by color cup color pop tool or tulu i'm not really sure how you say it but that's how this color reminds me of and this is called plummy mood so it's kind of like a purplish pinky color. So this is how it looks like without any lip liner. I would never leave my house like this, like at all. I think it looks funny. But yeah, this is what it looks like without any lip liner. And here is what it looks like with lip liner. And that's what it looks like lined. Cuter. I feel like you could line this with a brown pencil or you could go with a dark purple pencil. I think either one would work. Uh, I really like this color. I think it's so, so pretty. It's a little bit darker than Tulu. A little bit more plummy. So, yeah. it's a, But it's still like really, really, really pretty. I like this one a lot. It's going to be one of my favorites. Okay, so now I'm going to try Bare Berries. And this is kind of like a more pinky shade. This kind of looks like a pinkish, reddish color. I feel like this one and the one I had on just now looks kind of similar. But this one's just a little bit more red. So this is what it looks like without any lip liner. Another thing is that it dries really, really quickly. And it doesn't need much coats. And this isn't mine. I think this is so pretty. This is like one of those like going out looks deep and sultry you know i like this one a lot i think this is so cute i love the red one most this one and the other one that's like most of them <laughs> that's good right that's good and now for the last shade which is the nude one which is i'm which i'm kind of like you know not sure about but this is called i'm chic and i'm just gonna like try that on it's kind of like a beige-ish like mostly beige color I would never, ever, 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 ever leave my house with this. This is probably how my mom would bury me, and I'd be very unhappy. Let's see how it is lined, though. Okay, so I like it way better now, like ombre out. Before it was looking kind of crazy. I hope it picked that up. So it did stop recording, and that would suck. You can see how crazy that looked. Maybe that's for the better. <laughs> I feel like this would look really nice, like a really sleek, like. I'm a super spy type of look on like dark skin. It looks so, 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 so pretty. Like, I think this is so nice. I would most definitely wear this. I'll probably wear this soon because I like this color a lot. 
but I just like it um, braided out more. Maybe like a little, if it was like a little bit darker or had like darker undertones a little bit, then maybe I would like it a little bit better by itself, but I like it like this. I can most definitely make this work. So this is the left color guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like any of these shades, be sure to tell me down below which is your favorite. Tell me if you've tried any of these and how you feel about them and what shades you use. Just like let me know. Let me know all about it if you've tried this product and or if you plan on trying this product or if you like this product or if you like this video. Just let me know. Just let me know. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.